guys and welcome to another episode of crypto fight so in this session uh we'll be talking about how to use your order book to the best of your trading so uh in the previous video we've talked about many things about future trading in the last video specifically i talked about i talked about uh some terminologies and some technical terms you use in trading and we've talked about how to select successfully select trading peer while trading future so today we'll be talking about how to use other book to our advantage so how to use the other book to our advantage it's good you make use of every information that you have and when you know how to properly use them you get to you get to succeed in your trade so though there are many things that affect trading generally yes so first is your certainty you do not know what how people are going to buy or sell at the next future that's very essential you should know it's very uncertain and the next is what because of some news now the other time there's this trendy news about this asset uh immediately everybody began to what to dump the asset so for such assets the news is affecting things happening about that particular uh, asset is affecting what the price that is that another thing is uh, economic factor of countries so sometime uh, in the year 2000, uh, 2020 or something 2021 then when BTC was adopted was legalized in US you can see the price there's this sharp increase in price and then in the year 2020 or 21 sorry uh, sorry sorry about my date reference then when china's china was climbing down on crypto miners you can see that it really affected uh, the price of uh, btc you know so it affected the price of btc then the price really dropped down so that's another factor and the other factor as well sometimes people may decide to push or the community may decide to boost the price so that's another thing that uh, affect the price of asset so there are a lot of it that affect the price so sometimes it may be trained fear of missing out and people began to what buy 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 and then all those things so there are a lot of things but those are the most important that i've mentioned the government the world news and everything and then the authentic the one that we can never know of be it there's no government or anything the price is just there naturally moving on its own so now this is to be successful while trading future we have to check the other book or something i've used in the past that really worked for me is to properly check the other book so and uh, when i'm here in the other book here now let me change this back no way go back please Oops. so other book preference one thing is what show buy and sell ratio so when you are buy, showing buy and sell ratio you can see the ratio at which people are selling and people are what buying you can see that we have more people trying to what buy than what people trying to sell that's what order book these are what orders though they are not fulfilled orders quite all right they are not fulfilled orders but not as if they are finally fulfilled or not what these are limit orders that we can see now all these some people still want to buy what bnb at what 60 dollars some 110 200 210 220 
you can see there are others so let's let's try and see for okay and for sell order you can see a lot of people want to sell at what 370 uh some want to sell at 330 meanwhile you can see much people want to buy at 220 than people that want to sell at what uh at 230 so that shows the market is still there's still a tendency the market will what surely what go up and um, that's that and let's check and another thing i do use is what this particular uh information by what factor are you showing what factor of information are you showing so here now i'm showing tens you can see 90 or, 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 or 110 they are in factor of 10 is in factor of 10 so everything is going to be showing is in factor of 10 so what i do sometimes is i compare the cell with the what the short and you, if you can see it you can see the short is not that much as that that of the word the long so much people want to buy at all this price and especially the very price that it, that is close to the index price 220 you can see we have more people that want to sell at 220 that want to buy at 220 compared to 230 so the more if we keep decreasing this factor our uh, information will, will be more what defined refined sorry refined but wanting to talk of, to clearly notice this 240 and then this 230 suppose in our 240 is very low there and then our 220 and 210 here is very high relative if this 240 and 230 is very low relative to this 210 and 220 this 210 and this 220 then the price will go up in the next future so now we see there are still some differences quite all right there are still some differences there are still there are still some differences meanwhile they are still close they are still close so that's for the factor of 10 let's try and see let's try and get it to find for the factor of one all right now you can see our information is getting more refined You can see and this uh, buy and sell ratio is even showing us all this information so uh, okay so by factor of one you can see we have more people uh, that want to okay so a lot of people want to sell up here compared to people want to buy but that want to buy but what is supporting the market is what all this other price 228 227 so that 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 still shows that we are still more optimistic you understand 58 percent want to what buy and then 41 percent want want to what sell so still optimistic but let's check the most immediate 230 and then 229 so you can see the 220 the 230 is overwhelming with the what it overwhelmed the 229 and now okay it's overwhelming the 229 and then we are now at 228 so that shows you the, the trend of the market sometimes so if these up guys they are overwhelming what we have down Definitely, the price reward will be coming up. Though the buying is here of strength, but still, for this kind of selling, and especially the close the selling close to the mark price, so they really affect the price. They are, they really tells you what's going to happen in the nearest future. So another thing is that you can see that the two thirty overwhelmed the two twenty nine. The two twenty nine is now at the negative side this is sell side and is a uh, even gathering momentum but though right now i've not overwhelmed the 229 but it's gathering momentum so sometimes if you check this information properly study it it will help you to know the trend of the market immediately and how to do the short bust this is not financial advice and keep this information all right 
so let's keep, let's get let's keep trimming it down so now to the factor of 0 0.1 so to the factor of 0 0.1, 228.9 2, 2, and 229, you can see that 229 is now overwhelming what the 228.9. 2, um, let's see that other factor of 228.9. You can see it's increasing. So definitely BNB seems to be what? The price seems to be though the trend, the buying is more uh it's more the strength of the buying is more than the strength of the selling, but as we keep refining the data we can see the strength of the selling is, is becoming stronger is becoming stronger let's see what it will look like at 0 0.01 oh my god you can see so at 0 0.01 the strength of the selling want to overwhelm the what the strength of the buying 47 now 46 we're still going to 47 and uh, you if you look at the analysis we've done before 228.85 228.84 and then 228.86 the selling you have to play carefully look at this information whether it's overwhelming the opposite side whether this the short is overwhelming the long so if the short is overwhelming the long or the when the long is well buttressed oh my god you can see it's going down now so we are 228.83 now when we started it is at what 290 but you can see now is at what 228.82 so that means the selling is overwhelming the buying in a sense so let's go back to factor of 0 0.1 and see what's happening so by factor of 0 0.1 the price is uh is going bearish and let's see factor of one you see it's still going bearish as well so those are the things you have to look closely to especially when you properly refine the data you see how the you see the trend of the market so whatever make you have 42 or close to 50 definitely the trend is go, is is going the ratio of these two will determine what the next trend of the market is in short burst so this is good for whoever want to trade the short burst or for long burst as well for long time trading you can decide to do analysis from the factor of 0 0.1 and see what the immediate market is talking about and you keep enlarging your data and you keep enlarging your data and you keep enlarging your data to know what the trend will look like okay now at the factor of 10 now we can see 53 46 the price is still what going down so the 230 is overwhelming the what the 220 bit by bit yes all those 229 220 229 228 they are helping 230 to gain on what 220 so that is it about the other book so if you if i open this particular other book now I will see much of it. You can see. So you can see those orders 62. Okay. And you can see here as well. So you are you are gaining. You can see they are gaining. They are gaining. The sell the short are gaining on the long. So it's good. I believe uh, by practically I'll maybe I'll maybe practically if you if you work on this properly with my little explanation you get to use this and then trade later in the future and uh, practically you get to see what it does later in the future and uh, how to use short boss and then for one to use other book though the volatility and then the liquidity volatility how I don't want to give one random explanation. I want to properly place it based on given and divine definition volatility, volatility. So, in trading, volatility is measure of how price or return are scattered over time for a particular asset. Or financial product that's volatility and then liquidity
is this of converting an asset or security into cash so now this bnb now you can see this change it's so it shows that what it's so liquid you can see how the the price is moving moving the chart is not even stable it's moving constantly changing even at what this factor so shows is highly liquid so for short balls and all those things you can always use this in this other book to show the liquidity the, uh, and then the, the volatility over the short period of time and then use it to your advantage maybe later in the future we get to use the volatility and the liquidity based on the other book yes what we are still explaining is still, is still the volatility and the liquidity and um, on the part two of the other book and how to use it so we get to explain this further and how to use this other book for short boss and long long boss properly so that is it on how to use the other book for success of your trading and see you in the next video make sure you subscribe thank you